Hello guys, in this video I am explaining a polygon fill area functions. So if you have any doubts regarding a polygon and its types, you can refer my previous video polygon and its types, right? The description for that, the link for that video is given in the description section, right guys? So let me start with the polygon fill area functions. So you know that a polygon is nothing but a closed object. To construct that polygon I need more than three vertices. Here a polygon is a closed object right? Every polygon will have a area right? And each polygon fill area can be filled with some color or a pattern. Here, in this example, I have constructed a rectangle polygon. Fill area means, in the other words, it is a rectangle polygon here. I constructed a rectangle polygon where I filled the rectangle polygon with the orange color. Right? How I did that? Here, you can see that uh, here, I am going to create a rectangle polygon using the GL vertex function that is used to input the vertex. Here I used four verte vertices and that each vertice is enclosed within GL polygon that is GL polygon constant that is included in a GL begin statement. Uh, here four vertices is enclosed within GL begin and GL end keyword. Understanding guys? And GL vertex you can see there the GL vertex function use 2i right 2i means 2 is two dimensional i means integer if you don't want the vertex to be two dimensional instead of 2 you can use 3 there 3 means three dimensional f means floating point here i use 2i that is two dimensional vertex and that is integer and that uh, rectangle is filled with a uh, uh, color here uh, that is a solid color that is orange color uh, you, uh, along with the solid color you can fill the area of the polygon with the different different patterns also I will explain that in detail in the next coming video so so now you can ask a question can I create only the rectangle polygon can I create only the rectangle fill area no you can create different different fill areas not only the rectangle you can create different different fill areas OpenGL supports different fill areas not only uh, not only the rectangle OpenGL supports different fill areas you can create different different types of polygon fill areas here not only the re rectangle you can create different areas now let me see that here OpenGL supports six different types of symbolic constraints that is six different types of fill area functions so previous example we have studied the rectangle right not only the rectangle is supported here different different types of other areas also supported in OpenGL let me study each fill areas each different types of fill areas in detail the first fill area function that is supported in OpenGL is polygon. You can see here, I can use a symbolic constant GL polygon within a GL begin keyword and I'm going to use six vertices within a GL begin and GL end keywords. You can see here, this code is going to create a simple convex a single convex polygon fill area by using a constant GL polygon using this six vertices. So far we have studied only the rectangle right not only the rectangle we can create e here you can create a single convex polygon fill area also using how many vertices here I have created using the six vertices I have created this fill area. Understanding guys so you can create fill areas like this also this is the first case that is supported in OpenGL you can create a polygon fill area what you can create here not only the rectangle fill area you can create 
you can create a polygon fill area also understanding by using a six vertices using a symbolic constant gl polygon and enclosing the six vertices between a gl begin keyword and a gl end keyword understanding guys so next next triangles in triangles you can you are going to study three different cases three different fill areas here the first fill area in a triangle is gl triangles you can see there the symbolic constant what i used here is gl triangles well, how many number of vertices i have used here here also i am uh, going to use six vertices here using this six vertices it is going to create two unconnected triangles three three vertices for each triangle but these triangles are not connected here these triangles are unconnected here first triangle uses the vertices p1 p2 p6 second triangle uses the vertices p3 p4 p5 understanding guys so you are going to use gl triangles to create two unconnected triangles this is one case first case in a triangle understanding guys what is the next case sorry next case you can create a connected triangles in the previous case you have created two unconnected triangles that is one fill area but here in this case you can create a connected triangles how you can create that four connected triangles means using the polygon primitive triangle strip here also i am using the same six vertices but the polygon symbol is changed from gl triangles to gl triangle strip it is going to create four connected triangles now you can ask a question here the six vertices are there in what basis you have created only the four triangles right see here if we have we have a formula for this we obtain n minus 2 triangles in the strip in a strip you can contain n minus 2 triangles what is n n is the number of vertices here in this example how many vertices are there six vertices are there so six minus two is what four so if you have six vertices according to the formula we are going to get four triangles understanding guys and one more important thing here each triangle is going to share the edge with the previously defined triangle you can see here p5 p3 p4 is one triangle in the same way p5 p6 p3 is another triangle but these two triangles are going to share a edge that is between p5 to p3 understanding guys here every triangle is going to share a edge with the other triangle in the same way you can see there p1 p6 p2 is a one triangle p2 p6 p3 is a one triangle but these two triangles is going to share a edge that is between p2 and p6 so every triangle is going to share the edge between the every other triangle understanding guys so what are the four triangles that are present in a triangle strip first triangle is p1 p2 p6 you can see here the first triangle is p1 p2 p6 second triangle is p6 p2 p3 p6 p2 p3 is the second triangle what is the third triangle here p6 p3 p5 p6 p3 p5 is the third triangle last triangle what is that p5 p3 p4 yes last triangle is on what is that p5 p3 p4 is the fourth triangle understood guys so far we have discussed so different different fill areas first we discussed a triangle fill area second we discussed a polygon fill area uh, third we discussed two types of triangle fill areas that is a uh, gl triangle that is two unconnected triangles here uh, i discussed a triangle strip where uh, we are going to uh, 
established four uh, connected triangles in a triangle strip and the last case last filler in a triangle is nothing but a triangle fan so here instead of triangles instead of triangle strip i'm going to use a polygon symbolic constant triangle fan here also i'm using same six vertices but what is the difference here means here here also it is going to create a four connected triangles but the difference is instead of using a triangle strip i'm using a triangle fan here understanding guys and here also for n number of vertices we again obtain n minus 2 triangles in the same way as triangle strip here also triangle fan contains n minus 2 triangles that is four triangles here also we have four connected triangles so therefore the triangle one is defined as p1 p2 p3 triangle 2 is p1 p3 p4 triangle 3 is p1 p5 p4 triangle 6 is p1 p6 p5 understanding guys any doubts here so these are the different fill areas different different fill areas that are supported in opengl so far we have discussed three different types of triangle fill areas first one is a gl triangle second one is a gl triangle strip third one is a gl triangle fan along with the triangle fill areas we have discussed polygon fill area also that is gl polygon right and uh, along uh, gl rectangle is also part of a gl polygon only that i taken an example right next so total how many we discussed four varieties gl triangle gl triangle fan gl triangle strip and gl polygon that are supported in open gl gl rectangle is also supported but it is a part of gl polygon only right now what are the other two varieties the other two varieties are nothing but quadrilaterals the first variety is of polygon second variety is of triangles three varieties and the last two varieties are of quadrilaterals so here using the quadrilaterals i can create two different types of fill areas here quadrilateral fill areas so first is gl quads I'm going to create two unconnected quads. How many vertices I am using here? F eight vertices I am using here. Using the eight vertices, it is going to uh, generate two different quads. Quad means four, four edges. So eight vertices. Using that eight vertices, it is going to create four. Uh, sorry four uh, two quads that contains four four edges understanding guys you can see here uh, it is going to create uh, one quad using the vertices p1 p2 p3 p4 second quad is created using the vertices p5 p6 p7 p8 this is one type of fill area using a quad now instead of gl quad i can use gl quad strip here also i am using a eight vertices only but it is going now it is not going to create two connect unconnected quads no it is going to create a connected quad strip that contains three quadrilaterals you can ask a question here how how you are going to decide there should be only three quadrilaterals in a quad strip for this also there is a formula the formula is for n vertices we have to we have to obtain n by 2 minus 1 quadrilateral in a quadrilateral strip so how many vertices are there here eight vertices that is 8 by 2 is 4 4 minus 1 is how much 3 so in a quad strip we have three quadrilaterals we have three quadrilaterals so first quadrilateral is p1 p2 p3 p4 second quadrilateral is p3 p4 p5 p6 third quadrilateral is p5 p6 p7 p8 
understanding guys getting so there are two types of fill areas in a quadrilateral that is gl quads it uses eight vertices gl quad step it is also going to use eight vertices only but in a quad step i'm going to contain three quadrilaterals according to the formula n by 2 minus 1 getting guys so let me brief once again so first we discussed a rectangle example so the rectangle fill area so here so we discussed a rectangle fill area but this is the example I have taken to explain what is a fill area but OpenGL not only supports that rectangle fill area it also supports different different varieties of fill areas that means different different types of polygons it supports for example uh, first we just taken a, a fill area of a polygon here it uh, we created a simple polygon here polygon fill area next we created uh, three types of uh, triangle fill areas first is GL triangle next is a triangle strip next is a uh, triangle fan right next uh, we created two different types of quadrilateral fill areas first is GL quad and next is quad strip so total OpenGL supports six fill area function first is GL polygon second is GL triangle third is GL triangle strip fourth is GL triangle fan fifth is GL quad sixth is GL quad strip rectangle it comes under polygon only right guys hope you understood the concepts if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the below comment section thank you thank you for watching the video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel please click the bell icon to get the notifications and don't forget to like and share